Hey everybody, welcome back to the Hard Park 703 channel. So it's a rainy and gloomy Sunday. Uh, I'm not really going to do anything for the rest of the day. Um, I had ordered some Mercedes parts uh, like a week ago. They've been sitting here thinking to take the opportunity and finally get them installed right now. Um, so I had already covered that the tail lights and the side, mar uh, side, mar side mirrors um, were all cracked from the inside out. And so I had ordered those. Um, we're going to go through the boxes right now, and then uh, I'm going to show you what the deal with the trunk is. All right, so first things first, um, had to get a 2 by 4 because of the fact that the struts are shot on this thing. Um, so I had to replace the, uh, not replace, I haven't done it yet, but um, ordered them up, and they're uh, in my room, and so I got to swap them out on both sides, and then that should obviously hold the uh, trunk fully open. For that matter, because um, right now you pop it open and then it just closes on its own uh, slowly. So I went on the forums and everybody said, you know, you change these out and then that remedies the situation. But until then, just use a two by four. And since we're going to be swapping out the tail lights, obviously this thing's long enough or whatever. It'll keep it out of my way and everything. But yeah, so uh, looked up some YouTube videos. The tail lights do not seem that difficult. Um, in one of the videos, the person suggests popping the, not taking the bumper fully off, but like unclipping it all along the top. It should help um, take the taillights out. However, he even says it's not absolutely necessary. And then in other videos, they didn't do that. Um, you have to pop off these three pieces right here, right? So that plastic piece, the center piece, and then this one. And then apparently you've got some pretty good room to work with. I think it's like one or two bolts that are literally just holding the taillight in and that's it. Um, and so we'll see. We'll, we'll see. Onto these. Same thing. YouTube videos show that this is, this is a one piece, obviously. So all I got to do is pop, you pop it off. You got to, I'm going to have to fix the mirrors. I'm going to have to straighten them out or whatever. Um, uh, Obviously, I'm going to fold them out, but I meant like the, the mirror itself has to be flat up and down. And then you pop this back and then you can pop this whole piece off and then you just replace it. So that shouldn't be too difficult in theory. Uh, YouTube videos make it seem like it's not too difficult. So I don't know. Let's let's hope. Okay, you know what? While we're, while we're looking at the uh, at the products, <sighs> well, products, items, objects, whatever. Let me just at least... Turn the mirrors out. Yeah, I did my best to try to move the vehicle as far this way towards the center of the toward, okay, off. Yeah. towards the center of the garage. So then that way I'd have room to walk around. So I think I should have some decent room. Uh, probably gonna be a tight squeeze. Um. Okay, well, I mean, I can I'm gonna have to go around the back because obviously I'm not going to get past that. So if I can get around the back or whatever, I can, I can, I can do that. I can do that. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, let's take a look at what we got. Okay, so come on, you. This is door mirror cover front left. Okay, door mirror cover front left. Oh, nice. nice. Wow. Wow. That's really, really nice silver. Well, obviously the same color as the car. Thank God. Thank God it's the same color. I'm, I'm, oh, oh, wow. They have like different uh, types of silver. And so, I mean, I put in my VIN and everything uh, to make sure it all, is this coming out in the, yeah, okay, cool. Um, that it was correct and everything, um, you know, when I uh, asked the company, but just, you know, you can be nervous and just be like, oh my gosh, what if like the silver was off, but okay. So this is, this is it, this is it, so. Okay, so you got plugs, right? So you got a plug in there. Okay, so it's clipped on. Just like that. So yeah, so it is clipped on. See, so it's down, clipped on down here. So I'm just gonna unclip it, and then that, and then 
one. So scratches will be gone. That's I'm I don't know if they even look that significant in the video, but I'm telling you right now in person, it's it's a lot worse. So, and I'm always worried about the moisture getting in there, you know, especially like as it gets colder and stuff, um, or even after rainy days or something, leaving it outside, you know, so this is just going to get worse. It, um, it's obviously not going to get better. So now these are perfect. All right, let's get to it on this one. Um, and then, you know, it doesn't really matter whether I do the taillights or the, or the side mirrors first, as long as, as long as I'm doing something like this. Looks like the correct side, the opposite side, thank God. That was the other part that I was really worried about because you can put in the right part numbers or whatever, but then, you know, you give an error, so. Okay, so here's the other side. So, looks perfect, brand new, so same thing. So, this shouldn't be, shouldn't be too difficult. All right, cool, so now I know I got both sides, all right. Moving on to the next one. What's the next one? Actually, I can use this. I can use that. Hold her up for something. Oh, all right. I'm gonna have to pause the video because this thing is like bolted to the bottom of the box. Mm -hmm. All right. Cool. Yep. Yep. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. No dents, scratches, nothing. Flawless. Where is it? Oh, thank God. Okay. Okay. Um, and then from the back. Oh, hands get sweaty. I get nervous. So from the back, looks like. Good. Okay. Um, let's see. So. Uh, I think like this is one piece where it clips in, and then here is here is the other piece. So, yep. Okay, this shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, because all this stuff, this is what holds, I guess, the the lens and the lights and everything in place. So, like I said, I think it's just like two pieces that go into the into the uh, the quarter panel stuff. You know. So, all right, awesome. All right, I got that one done. Yep, flawless. Wait, is that? Oh. Right, cool, that's part of the design. So, yep. Not a scratch on it. All right, so everything's good. All right, awesome. All right, well, all the pieces check out. So, driver side, the other one was the passenger side. Got driver and passenger side um, mirror. So, we are good. All right, let's get... All right, let's give this a go. All right, so it says in the video, take the two plastic ones on the end and the center one pops off. All right, I don't even know what that red button does. But, all right. um, I mean, this does feel kind of... Oh, all right. Okay, that's easy. It's all clipped on. Um, all right. How do I disconnect this button? Disconnect the button. All right, so yeah, so there's no need to remove, at least as of right now, I don't see the need to remove the center plastic piece. You just gotta remove the two sides to get to the tail light. It's actually only one screw holding it in. So you can see that hole right there, right? So you see that mm, right there, the hole where that like red, uh, red line is and stuff. So there is a, there we go. You see how there's a screw right there? Yep, so there's just literally one bolt on there and that's this small little bolt right there. So 
Got to be careful with this thing. It's a eight millimeter. So you just got to screw it off very gently. I was even thinking of using the uh, magnet um, to get yourself a really small one because you're going to have to, it's a tight fit from this angle. Right? So like you got to get in between this and there. Um, so yeah, that's the only, that's the only difficult part, but just make sure just do your best to hold this when you're unscrewing it because of the fact that if that falls in there, you're not getting it back. So just, it's like, hold your breath while you're doing it. I literally did. All right, so yeah, so that screw is the only thing holding it in. Um, the only other two things that are holding the tail light are this right here, like this, uh, I guess not a clip, but a little ball joint, right? That's gonna pop into some location and then down here. So technically right down there and then up here. So I guess I'm gonna have to apply pressure in this corner right here. All right, so this is where you're gonna want then like a, a trim tool set and stuff, right? Because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go underneath right here and I'm gonna start wedging it under here and start applying pressure. So then that way I start prying it out. So we'll see if that works. Um, I hope it's that easy, please let it be that easy. Oh yeah, you can definitely see the ball joint. Yeah, you can see that little ball joint. It goes into a rubber grommet right here. And so I assume the bottom one. Let me see. You see, you see how that, it goes into the rubber grommet right there. And so the other one's probably somewhere down there, but regardless, it seems like it's pretty, seems like it's pretty easy. It's not a, it's not wedged in there. It, it's. Yeah, seems easy to pull out. So, okay, making sure this corner's good. Okay, okay that's out. This is out. All right, both are out. Okay. Okay. All right. So, the t where my thumb is right here. This goes underneath the rubber seal here on the Mercedes. It goes all the way around. So that's the only thing that's kind of wedging it on this corner. So you just got to get it out from underneath the rubber seal and then that'll slide out. So luckily there's no clips or anything like that that's holding it. All right, the only thing left is the connector back here. So you just got to be careful. So when you pull it out, don't just yank it all the way out. All right. Um, it's like two clips on the connector, two clips on the side. Mm -hmm. Where connector is this? German engineering. Nah, I bet you it's probably because I want to make it really tight. All right, got it. Okay. Well, all right. Tail lights off. So, nothing to it. So, just these two needed to come out and then just the connector. So, we're good. I was thinking these had to come off on the new one, but I guess that plastic is on there for a reason. All right, cool. All right, so depending what you're going to do with your old tail light and everything, you might want to wipe it down with like a, you know, just one of these like alcoholic wipes or whatever. And it wouldn't be a bad idea for you to just wipe down in here too. Um, so then that way you don't get any like nitty gritty stuff against, you know, your new tail light. And now that you're, you know, now that I'm looking at it, so 
Here, I'll, I'll show you guys. So obviously held right there, held right there. These three clips get pushed into the tail light. So luckily they don't need to snap into the tail light. They just hold it securely. So that's fantastic. That's actually the best case scenario you could ask for for something like this because if these were like clipped in or something like that, you know, and, and there's nowhere to grip that tail light, you'd probably have to remove the bumper. So you know what I was thinking? Um, get yourself a little bit of grease and then dab it on a little Q-tip. So then that way you can put in those little rubber, uh, like grommets. Um, that way, at least if you ever have to do this again, you know, like nothing will, nothing will, well, it's not like it's going to seize, but you know, you know how it is. Obviously, if you lube up joints and stuff like that, it's, it makes your life a lot easier in the future. So. Adding my two cents. Snap in place. Okay, nice and tight. All right, so I guess what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna slide it All right, so you're gonna definitely need a trim tool because you gotta get the plastic housing underneath the rubber right here, the rubber seal. So. That's, that's under it. I hope that's it, that's under it. Make sure this side with the screw, make sure that goes through the hole and keep it there. And then make sure that rubber seal just doesn't come off. Right? Okay, there we go. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Cool, cool. Okay. So what I'm doing right now is I'm making sure that seal stays up. Push it in, push it, make sure that you're going into those grommets. Everything looks good right here. Everything's lined up still nice. Make sure you're not scratching your paint or anything. Oh, you, you, honestly, the Mercedes is built very, very, uh, what was I gonna say, accurately or whatever. Um, pretty precisely because you're not, you're not even touching the paint. Like there's a perfect gap, like where the clips are. So you're good. Seal needs to go above it. There we go. Uh huh. Okay, clipped into place. Rubber seal is all the way. Oh, thank God. All right, we're good. Check it, check it, check it, check it. All right. So you just gotta, you gotta lift this flap up, right? Because it's gonna get wedged in there and then the grommet will go in there, the grommet will go in there. It's, you'll feel it, you'll feel it sliding into place, especially since it's lubed up a little bit, it slides in much easier. So actually that goes to prove like, get yourself some lubrication in there, whatever. So then now it doesn't like just get stuck. But yeah, so then you gotta put that rubber, see this rubber piece on top of the plastic. It was getting stuck right here. It really wanted to, it wanted to flex um, back in and so that was preventing this corner from going in but yeah so let me put my I stand corrected you're gonna definitely want to take uh, the center piece off okay so the center piece runs along the back as well and why do I say that because this part right here these these sides right here are just slid 
in, like they're hooked in. They're not uh, bolted or anything. And so I say that because right in here looks like there's plastic clips or whatever. You just got to pry up um, and you can get this off. The center piece right here has to go first. As you see, it's just uh, two of these pieces right there. So those just go right there and right there. So you just got to pry this off. And then that's going to allow you to pop this off. The reason why you're going to want to have the sides clear right here where this hard plastic is. Because right now, right now I'm trying to get the bolt back on the screw, right? And I'm terrified it's going to fall down there. And so if you clear this plastic right here, then that way, that way you can put your hand through here and then you have a straight shot to tightening it. So I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna take that approach as opposed to risking it. So I'm just gonna pop this off right now. Yeah, it's just clips. What else is, there's something holding it down here though. Actually, not really. Yep. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so that was just. That's funny. There's a. I don't know how it got in there. But remember when we tried to, uh, uh, like tint the tail lights, you know, for that approach? Yeah, well, there's a piece right there. I have no idea how it even got in there, but it's there. It looks like it's held down like where you would, I guess you would put the spare, or whatever you call it, the, the bottom of the, the trunk. So I'm wondering if it's because since I have the pressure of the two by four on there, it's preventing it from sliding up. Yeah. Okay, so that's actually preventing it because as I want to pull this thing up, the floor wants to come up with it. So that's an issue. Well, maybe I can just move the two by four for a second and just hold this up for a second. Okay. Definitely, the whole the trunk, uh, the whole floor is coming up. So I guess I have to move the, the trunk floor up. Okay, let me move all this stuff. Okay, um, just found out that in order for you to take this off, not only do you have to take off this floor right here, you have to take out the whole bottom in there too, because it's it goes all the way down. So um, I'm gonna try to put the two by four back in. I know it's gonna close it closer to my head, but at least this way, I mean, it's out of the way right now, so I can get my hand in there. All right, let's, let's give this a try. This is, wow, this is kind of absurd. Okay, remember how I told you to be really, really, really careful with that bolt? I lost the bolt. It fell somewhere in that crevice, somewhere inside the chassis. So luckily, I've got a whole bunch of bolts 
here, like spare bolts from past things, whatever. I found one that works. Uh, just If you don't have any spare bolts, I mean, you really, really got to be careful with it. Um, I would say wedge something down there. You can't, though. I mean, there's nothing you can wedge down there. You're not going to be able to get it back out. Um, so yeah, so I found, uh, it's got like little, like, uh, I don't know, like Mickey Mouse ears or whatever like that. And so you can twist it. Um, so it works. Let's see if I can show you. See, you see in there, like those little, like, uh, little ears or whatever. Yeah. So I just got to turn those by hand and that's what's, that's what's keeping it on. So just be really, really careful. Ugh, what a pain. So it looks like on the passenger side, you have a sensor that's uh, clipped in the hole, like that you would access the screw for the taillight. So you just gotta move that out of the way. I'll show you real quick. Hold on, that's easier. Okay, so this, see the hole? This is clipped in there. You just gotta depress it and then just move it. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it's wired up to. Um, what does it say? Yeah, I don't know. But anyways, just move it out of the way. And you can just set it right there. I mean, that's plenty out of the way. And so, just making sure that thing still has a bolt, right? It does. Okay, so same thing. All right. <sighs> please don't lose this one, please. Okay, turns out the passenger side is so much easier to get this bolt in and out. So, um, I don't foresee me having a problem putting it back on, but we'll see. Okay. Ow. All right. We're good. Cool. Move on this side of the way. So I guess where I was getting stuck. I guess this thing was getting stuck. I don't see any, I don't see any jagged edges or anything like that, but it was just on there pretty tight. And then I had issues with this corner right down. I, I don't know. Oh, shavings, metal shavings. That's not good. Uh, okay, good. I didn't strip the threading. Okay, good. I didn't strip the threading, but yeah, just be careful. You don't want to, you, you really don't want to strip the threading. Okay, I got a couple metal shavings, though, here on my glove, so. All right, let's put the other one on. Okay. That's good. Surprisingly... I didn't have to mess with the top rubber piece up here like I did on the other side. Right? I don't think so. Is there anything that we can do? No. Yeah. Alright, cool. Push it in. Alright, we are in business. Done. Solid. Wish me luck. Yes. Oh my God. All right. I'm just gonna. You know, both of them were literally only tightened by hand, by the way. So, I mean, that wasn't disturbing, but literally, I, I really didn't even need um, a socket or anything because, like, the other one was just tightened by hand originally, and then so was this one. Both sides should be pretty solid. I still can't believe I had to do this. Ah, I can't believe I had to do this with this hand. Literally. Just... Nope, still goes. That is still not tightened up. 
Come on. Thank God I decided to do this again. I mean, this can't really do much. It's not. Can't, I can't twist it. I'm, I'm trying to twist it like that. I'm literally, I'm doing this. What? <laughs> that looks funky. It <laughs> looks really funky. But I'm trying to twist the butter. Anything I say right now and do, it's going to look weird. So I'm just going to stop. Um, yeah, that's pretty tight. Once again, all right. That sounds weird too. Nice, nice. All right, so everything's good. Um, seal is solid on both sides. Lines up pretty nicely. Um, yeah, it lines up pretty, pretty nicely. It's bolted up. Some grommets are in. Best part of all, no scratches or anything like that. Considering this car is now going to be garaged, I don't worry about the, uh, the exposure to the heat and cold, uh, contrast that would happen outside, right? So we're pretty solid. We're pretty solid. All right. So it's just as even on this side. So that's really, really nice. What, what is that? Did I do that? Did I, oh my god, did I do that? Oh my god, did I do that? Um, oh, Alright. I can get that off. I can get that off. I'm going to use rubbing compound. I'm going to get that off right now. That's going to freak me out. Alright, anyways. I hope I didn't cause that. But, anyways. Alright, so seal is on there. And so, yeah. No scratch it or anything. Alright, let's move on to the... Uh, that's going to be a tight fit. That's going to be a really tight fit. But yeah, let's move on with the mirrors. All right, so for the side mirrors, it says roll down the window so then now you can adjust the mirror as much as possible um, while you're doing this. And you wanna, you're you going to want to have as much room here to tug down. Like here, you're going to want to pull this away first, this bottom piece, and separate this. So it's just, he said there's like little tabs or whatever. And so as you pull this away, then you're gonna wanna, once you like pull this out or pop it out, whatever, blah, blah, um, then you're gonna wanna pull the whole, the whole assembly off, right? So it's this whole thing um, and it'll come off. It'll, this piece will stay, but then all this will come off. And apparently the, so there's a, a connector in here, right? Um, which automatically, um, like once you put the new cap, why am I, why don't I just show you the new cap? That right there just plugs in as you pop the new one on. And so that's going to, obviously that connector is going to pop off as you take off the old one. So that lines up on its own. That's fine. Um, apparently there's a tab. So this tab right here, the little plastic piece right there, it's held on by like a little aluminum prong or something like that. So you got to, you got to use some force to uh to pry that off but there's nothing else really holding it on um right here on the inside like on the bottom right so like if this is the outside and like i was saying like i was saying right here you got to pull down on the bottom right here i guess there's something probably wedged in this opening the cavity right there so that's probably why you got to pull away from it right you got to pull and pull it towards the camera right now all right, let's let's give it a try. Hopefully, uh, I guess there's another little clip right there, but it doesn't look too complex. All right, let's give it a try. Hopefully, nothing breaks. Okay, all right, yep, 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 yep. Okay, so that's clear. Okay, that's clear. 
Now how am I supposed to? I'm gonna take a mirror with me though. What in the world? Okay, so tabs are. All right, so the tabs right there is just. As soon as I yank that out a little bit, I mean, you can pull up. It's just, if I do that, I'm not clearing that mirror yet. This thing goes really deep into there and I can't adjust the mirror. I can't adjust the mirror to look down more. So that's difficult. <sighs> okay, let's figure this out. Let's figure this out. Okay, the internet is of absolutely no help with this side view mirror. Um, they've got stuff for C-class, E-class, all different years and everything like that, but they don't have anything that's similar to this. Um, some of them were saying, oh, you can pop off the mirror um, and then easier to get to. I don't want to risk that. I don't, I don't know um, if that's the case. M maybe it is, but I didn't want to pop off the mirror. Um, so I'm trying to separate it from the body and I'm using all my... Uh, uh, trim tools and just let me show you this thing is this thing is on there okay so i started like obviously the bottom right the bottom i pulled out and then i started with this corner and started separating it and then i came around and where it was extremely difficult was here in this corner right here um and so then there's like a there's like a black piece right here and so once i got past here which was really difficult here there was like a slight opening where I could get even a thinner um, trim tool in there. And so now what I'm trying to do is, because I, I didn't remove the mirror and the video that I was seeing that said like, oh, well, if you move, if you tilt the mirror down, then you're going to clear this. Oh, well, no, you're not. Not with this mirror. So not with this like housing and everything. So for that matter, um, I'm trying to move this whole, the whole thing. I'm trying to move it up and out that way right so i clear the mirror so that's where we're at this has been a pain okay so what looks like it's holding it in there because the clips are pretty much off um it's where i know i don't have any light right now but my fingers are jammed in here it hurts really badly i'm trying not to have it close again um the connector oh okay that's really crunching down my fingers i gotta pull this thing off I just spent two hours taking this entire thing apart and trying to wedge it over and it just, it was stuck. It just wouldn't, it wouldn't go past the mirror. It just, it wouldn't go past the mirror. And so then I was thinking of unbolting the bottom, which I got to bolt back up by the way, and then reaching my hand through the bottom, blah, blah, blah. Look at what I just did. All right. So a lot of the Mercedes videos were saying, get yourself a really wide pry tool, wrap it, tilt your mirror to a side or whatever, and then pry from the back. Right. Well, I was worried that, I mean, uh, what if, what if that wasn't going to work? Well, looks like it worked because all I had to do was just pry it right there. And this came off in literally like five seconds. So now all I got to do is just pop this off and then I should be able to take the cap off pretty easily considering it was getting stuck on the bottom. I mean, it got all scraped up along the bottom, but luckily this is the old cap. Um, so I'm going to do this right now and then see how much faster this method is. I even put all this tissue down there just in case like something was going to pop off, but what a pain. Okay. Like three hours later, I finally figured it out. Um, okay. So you got to take the mirror off, right? The motor is right there. Okay. So the motor is that circular, black circular piece. Um, you see how, okay. Uh, see where my index finger is? You see how like thick this painted part is? It goes deep, right? So you got to tilt the motor on the bottom. You got to tilt it back. So you got to aim like the mirror down, right? But you got to pop the mirror off first. So you got to pop the mirror off first, then aim the motor down. <sighs> then you can take the cap off. Okay, so now the cap, you can now take the cap off really easily. You just got to maneuver it around the mirror and then it comes off. Okay. So 
here's the old cover. It's all, it's all scraped up. <laughs> Playing around with that mirror really, really did a number on this thing, but this is the other part. Like, so this piece right here, this is the part that your uh, connector is going to go in or whatever. The, yeah, well, it's got clips here that break off easily, so I guess I broke them off on here, so this one's loose. Um... We'll see if they hold up on the other one, but that was it. <laughs> All of this for that. All of this, like three hours for this. All right. <sighs> okay. All right, let's put the other ones. Uh, the mirrors on the SL, they just, they literally clip on. They clip on right here. So you see these little clips right here. They just, you clip them right onto the outer edge, outer edge of the, <laughs> outer edge of the motor. So that's easy. So you can pry from both sides. So you can pry. I pried it from the inside over here, but you can pry them from the outside just as easily. So it doesn't matter, you know, dealer's choice whether you're going to pop them from one side or the other. Um, so that's good. All right. Um, let's let's get the cover on. OK, so I guess the cover goes on. Then I have to flatten the motor out where my thumb is. I need to like, you know, the, the top needs to go back. So then it's straight up and down. Then I can clip this back on, and then we should be good. <sighs> okay, sounds easier. Easier said than done. is So the reason why I did that is because I need to get this connector. Where is it? Okay, it's over there. Uh, all right, so looks like it'll clip in. It'll clip in just fine. Yeah, it'll clip in just fine. And then that's got to clip in here. And then I got to just make sure I... I gotta make sure I get those. I gotta like wedge something in between there and get them in there. So maybe it'd be actually be easier to put those in and then, okay, let's try it. Let's, let's see. Yeah, it just takes a little bit of force. You just gotta snap everything into place and then just play with it under here. But all right, so that should be good. Um, I'm gonna get this towel off because I'm gonna run some current through this so okay let's flatten it out mm -hmm. okay it should be all right um, let's turn it off okay Let's see if it snaps back into place. I should snap back into place just fine. Uh, yeah. Okay. So let's. Oh no. That is. 
is not that is not on there. Okay. There we go. Now it seems like it's on there. Yeah. You gotta put some good force on the on the mirror. So Yep. Okay, that's on there. Let's just make sure it works one more time. One more time and test that out. Just make sure I didn't like break anything. Okay. Uh out we go. Yep. Down. Uh, we're good. We are solid. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, there you have it, folks. Um, that's how you replace a side mirror housing. Or for that matter, the, well, the side mirror itself, the mirror glass itself would take two seconds now that you know. But this thing... Yeah, yeah, I uh, almost sold my soul. Didn't scratch it or anything, that's nice. Dust, there's a whole bunch of dust. Um, wow. Just, yeah, it's on there, it's on there well. So, I'll pick this up as soon as I am done. I am just completely worn out from this. Like, I don't even want to go to work tomorrow. All right, so just as expected, I mean... I haven't even been at it for 10 minutes and it already came off pretty easily. So I've got it down. So you just got to move the motor to the right position or whatever like that. You start on this outer corner and then you start prying it up. And I mean, this thing will come off real easily. So, <laughs> wow, I really wish I would have known this since the beginning. So, all right, let's put the, so this is the old one. Um, this one's not as bad as the other one. I mean, it does have spider cracks and stuff, but. This one was a superficial one, but regardless, I wouldn't have been able to buff that out. So anyways, all right, let's put it on real quick. And then okay, so that took a total of like 15 minutes to do the passenger side. So, all right, mirrors are done. Um, this probably would have been an hour long process at most had I uh, popped off the mirrors in the first place. But I, I don't know. I was terrified. I was terrified if I popped off the if I popped off the mirror. What if I broke a clip or something? I, I, I didn't know. And then all of a sudden I'd have to, you know, I'd have to literally replace the entire mirror or something, maybe the entire unit. I didn't know. So it's one of those things I just didn't know how to approach it. So I approached it the way I did. Luckily, when I was tugging up and stuff like that, I wasn't. Uh... Luckily, this whole unit is still intact because when I was tugging up on the cover, I was trying to put like my fingers like this and yank up while I was putting pressure down here. So then that way that wouldn't uh, like come loose from the body or anything like that. So. I'm all right there. Everything's nice and stable. Nothing's really moving. Nothing. nothing it's not that it's really moving. Nothing's moving at all. Um, and so motors work and everything, obviously. They were able to fold in. And yeah, so uh, it's just the sequence that you got to know. You just got to know to take off the mirror. And then the, uh, the motor for the mirror, you got to aim it down. Then you can pop this thing off super easily. You just got to be careful with the clips and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, I mean, this thing's solid. I mean, it's on there. And same thing with the, with the base and everything like that. I didn't put pressure on the base. So yeah, we're good there. Um, the only thing I noticed with the taillights is, I mean, obviously each vehicle, you know, different years and stuff like that, they're assembled differently and stuff. So the taillights, uh, it's, it's not too bad, but all right. So there's a little bit of like a, a gap right here, right? Like the, you see how the taillight's just a little bit slightly further in the body? So not, not too bad. Um, and then right here, like as of right here, as of this body line right here, the taillight comes out more than the body. So you can really feel it, especially in this corner. See how you can see it? So um, I can't tell. I don't think I was paying attention to that. Um, I'll have to go back and look at footage or whatever, but I can't tell if this, if the other one was further out, um, if the other one was further in or whatever, but I mean, it's the tail. It's just, maybe it's, just, you know, once you change something that's OEM, I mean, the chances of you getting the exact same fitment and everything are pretty slim, but point being on this side. So it's the same thing like this, this same thing. 
Um, and then as of this body line, it's funny because this one does the exact opposite. This one's actually much more flush. If anything, it starts curving in more. So like towards the edge, there's no edge right here. So this one is further in, like over here, than this one, you see? It's, it's, it's minute, minimal, whatever you would say. Like right here, see? And then, see? Not really much over here. So anyways, but like I said, I mean, the OEM ones, maybe the OEM one, the ones that came originally on this vehicle, the ones that came originally that I just replaced probably, I don't know, I wasn't paying attention, but maybe they, maybe they fit better or whatever. So now that's just in the back of my mind, but whatever, uh, either I left the other taillights on and they'd have scratches in them, or I put new taillights on that look perfect now, brand new. And they're off by just like a, a smidgen. No one's going to notice. I know nobody's going to notice, but it's just. I caught my eye and I'm like, ah, but anyways, um, just be careful with Mercedes clips, like all the plastic retainer clips and everything like that. That's holding everything in place. Um, I broke some in the trunk and then I broke, uh, two on the driver, on the driver mirror. So small little, like, look, small little plastic pieces, right? Like. Things will still clip in, it's just these are little plastic parts that are just, I guess, they're very fragile. So, anyways, just be careful. Just be careful when you start doing stuff with this or whatever. Um, I'm, this is one of the pieces right here. This is one of the pieces to the trunk, right? And so this is one of the side, this is the passenger side. And so the reason why it's not on there right now is because I had broken that one right there. I super glued it just now, so I'm going to leave it for like 24 hours and let it harden. And then that little piece right here, you see that little piece right there? Um, that, the, the, ugh, let me show it to you. Come, come on. All right. right there. That piece right there, I had to uh, super glue as well because it broke off. So like one side still missing, but I was able to super glue it pretty well. So give it 24 hours and then maybe I can clip it all in and hopefully it, all stays together. But anyways, all right, so there you go. Uh, that was the project for the day. I'm glad it turned out really well. It was a success. Uh, um, unnecessary pain. But at least now, if you guys are watching the video and whoever has this vehicle, I guess, or you can apply the same principle to many other vehicles I just learned or whatever, right? So mirrors need to pop off first anytime you're gonna do anything with the side mirrors right and apparently a lot of people like to change out the side mirror cap so yeah i'm glad i was able to go through all that hell so then that way you guys can uh, do this in two seconds um and then the taillights are super easy to do as well so just really be careful with that little uh, bolt that i told you guys about um i lost it on the driver's side luckily i kept the one on the passenger side and so hopefully it doesn't rattle uh, for the rest of my life hopefully it, like falls out somewhere or whatever so yeah but, all right, so I'm going to wrap it up right there. If you like that video, go ahead and click that like button, hit subscribe. Uh, I've got another video to upload before this one, and then I'll get to this one. So, just, sorry, I'm so tired. Okay, all right, I'll see you all soon. Bye.